times in your life when you find yourself in very awkward situations. I mean, just look at that face, Joe. Abby needs you. We need you. And we're willing to pay. And this would be one of those moments. But I swear, it's not like I'm selling my kidney or anything. Although that would have been less painful. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me start at the beginning. And it's the big day, the qualifying race of the Indy 500. She takes her position. This is my dad. Revs the motor of her stock car, hoping... To not crash and burn on the last lap of adolescence. Oh, that's my girl. Dad built engines for race cars. And so did I. Ignore the pigtails. I was more naive back then. Because of his work, I changed schools two times a year for the past eight years. This doesn't make me a loner with a highly evolved defense mechanism or anything. Okay, fine, it does. Today, everything was about to change. It was my first day at North Shore High, the last stop before Carnegie Mellon University, my dream school. My rules of survival were simple. Don't stand out. Never raise your hand in class. And watch your back at all times. New town, same school, same parking lot. Everyone obsessed with the freedom of their first car. It's an identity. Like the muscle cars who think they own the road and check out every passing vehicle. Smart cars who don't fit in. The I'm so perky I might shake off my tube top cutesy cars. And then there's the most dangerous vehicle on the road the high-performance, high-maintenance sports cars. If they liked you, your life was all green light. If they didn't, you were nothing more than a wreck on the side of the road. At North Shore, they were called the plastics. And Mandy Weatherly was the number one plastic. She dotted her name with the signature heart above the eye, probably because she didn't actually possess that organ. Her two sidekicks were Chastity Meyer, who was stupid enough to hit a home run with any boy willing to play, and Hope Plotkin, uber hypochondriac, who believed the germs led to ugliness and ugliness led to death. And thus, my number one rule for survival, no girl drama. Actually, no drama, period. Please, please don't be run. And in high school, an already embarrassing moment can go from bad <laughs> to worse. Are you okay? How bad do I look? She couldn't have looked worse. You look great. Really? Thanks. I'm Abby Hanover. Yeah, you must be new. I'm part of the welcoming committee. Well, there's only two of us, really, and, and I... I'd love to show you around. Are they gone? Yeah. Listen, I think I can find my way to the front office. Thanks. <laughs> so, Joe, I see your dad's big in NASCAR. Well, let me set your mind at ease. We know how to deal with celebrities here at North Shore. One of our lunch ladies was on the first season of American Idol. Good to know. Yeah, it's pretty hot. And uh, we're also aware of your many moves. OK. Because we're aware that students who move around a lot often wind up as serial killers or actors. <laughs> hey, did I mention we have an excellent drama department? I'm not really into drama, but I do know you have an advanced shop class. Ah, menial laborer rather than intellectual. I can respect that. Um, the cheerleading squad will be going to the public library for a field trip. Now, last year we had some problems with that where we had 12 girls go and we had 15 girls come back. I know how much you all love vampires, but remember, the school nurse will be heading up the blood drive, so sign up for that now. Oof. Home ex down the hall, miss. Actually, as refreshingly sexist as that is, I'm here for advanced shop. Drafting class. Ugh, right. Well, we lost Mike to that circular saw incident, so you can be Tyler's partner. 
Okay, everybody, get started on your birdhouses. Trusses or triangles, I don't care. That's all I can deal with right now. Hey, Tyler, I'm Joe. Hey. What's his deal? Well, uh, Mr. Giamatti bleeds Texas A&M maroon and white when they lost Saturday. Well, if they want to be taken seriously, they better be the Longhorns. I'll let Giamatti hear you say that. And just when a guy seems all dreamy and has eyes you can fall into. So we have to build a lame birdhouse. Um, I guess you could decorate it. He opens his mouth and sounds like an ass. Wow. Thanks. But I was thinking I could carve the dovetail joint. I'm impressed. That makes one of us. In every school, students have their lunch gang. As my dad says, your racer is only as good as your pit crew. Cutest dog ever, Mandy. Thanks. Coco Chanel really sets off my new purse. You had her check for rabies, right? Too bad you couldn't get the new Prada bag with the fringe. Would have totally matched your brown fur. Hello, fringe is so out. And I'm at the top of the wait list for the new patent leather Prada satchel. But you already waited like six months for the fringe. Why of course, not? Mandy. Fringe is so past tense. Vogue says crimson is the new accessory, and you're totally gonna rock that look. Oh, I know. <laughs> Last much, little freshie? Let's go in a minute. Let's do this. You guys are going down. We're gonna win. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Right. Take, take Nikki, focus. <laughs> Chastity, stop drooling. You know what Mandy thinks about you and Tyler. What are you talking about? Do not play dumb with me. I don't have to play dumb. Besides, I guess you're totally sneezed in your salad. <gasps> Ew! Come <laughs> on. Ugh, God, Nick is just so nasty. I'm only dating him because he's probably getting a full ride to UCLA. Yeah, one week in LA and I'll be a bikini model, hyphen reality star, hyphen awesome. <laughs> I heard Amy Hall is totally into him. Oh, she wouldn't dare. Nikki, over here, I missed you. Hey, babe. Hey, have you been lifting weights? <laughs> oh, dude, the rat dog just tongued me. Oh, shut up, Nick, you'll hurt Coco right here, right here. Oh, ah. No groping south of the equator or North Creek. <laughs> Wow, the hot chick can really handle herself. I wonder what else she can handle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who the hell is she? Her name is Joe. Joe Mitchell. She's in my bio class. Somebody said she came somewhere from like Florida or Texas. Then I also heard that she's an exchange student from Russia. Oh, what did they exchange her for? She's kind of pretty, don't you think? Well, <laughs> if you're into pleather. <laughs> well, hello there. Hi, Coco Chanel. Go back to Mandy. Come on. Go, go, go. All right, just a little bit. Where's Coco Chanel? Bad little girl. Purse. My dad got it for me last month, but I told him. Last him month? Ugh, just go. <sighs> Stay down there. 